Greetings YouTube, Super Channel F here with Let's Play Mega Man 2 Part 4. We're gonna take on the Woodman. He's got also pretty great level music. This quick boomerang. It'll last a really long time, and if you can hold down the button, it'll just keep going. These bats would become pretty classic Mega Man enemies. This is the only level they're in in this game, though. This guy's not that hard, just jump. But he appears twice more. Give him a taste of the metal blade. At the top of your jump, you can just hit this guy's toe with the metal blade. These monkeys will jump up if you get too close to them, or they'll eventually just do it on their own. I don't feel like dealing with them. Or the birds. This is what Bubble Lud looks like, by the way. I actually, I guess you've already seen it since I beat Heat Man. It's just a ground crawling weapon. Nothing too special. Well, it's kind of special in that it's the only weapon you can beat the final boss with. Spoiler alert, but who doesn't know that by this point? I've never managed to kill these chickens. You can hit them with the gun, but they're always gone before you can kill them. So here we go with Woodman. As a kid, I always thought Metal Blade was his weakness, and it's a good weapon to use on him. It makes sense, since it's the kind of blade you'd see on a table saw, and he's made of wood. But his better weakness is Atomic Fire, which also makes sense, you know, he's woody burn. But you can take him down with two hits of a fully charged Atomic Fire. Not when he has his Leaf Shield up, though. When he does have his leaf shield up, the only weapon that can hit him is Crash Bomb. Yeah, see what I mean? Two shots. And for beating him, we get Leaf Shield. The first in a long line of shield weapons, which in my opinion didn't really get good until Mega Man 9. It has a few uses here, like most of them, but not that great. One last Robot Master, Crash Man. He's gotta be feeling pretty nervous now, I've taken down all seven of his allies. Well, his turn. And some birdies for good luck. His level is mainly going up. Oh, 
I look, it's a Met. And this time, they actually pull themselves all the way up. Which they would do for most of the rest of the series. They'd return to the Mega Man 1 style in Mega Man 9. Here's what Leaf Shield looks like, by the way. Should I move, then it'll go flying in the direction I move. Like that. These conveyor belt parts are really the only time I use it. That and Airman, it's Airman's weakness. But we didn't have it when we fought Airman. Kind of reminds me of a Lech Man stage, just in that we're going up, and we never stop going up. Oh, here we're going to the right, but eventually we start entering the stratosphere, I guess you might say. Either that or it just turns nighttime. It's a pretty neat effect, really. you down if you're not careful. Not that it kills you or anything, it's just irritating. This part can be very irritating. Birds will come by and drop their baby birds on you, and they'll knock you right off the ladder. Here's a tip, though. Depending on which direction you fire in last, that's the direction he'll come from. And that can be useful. See, he came from the left, because that's the last place I fired. Oh no! Oh, jeez, too close. Come on, die. Yeah. I hate him so much. See, like that. We'll drop it right down, and it won't even come open. This guy will also knock you off. Come quick. Where he changes the angle of his shot. Energy tank. And this is what item number one looks like. I always thought that starry background was a really neat effect. By that I mean both the one on the time stopper and just in Crashman's background here. Using the normal gun on him does virtually no damage. He's pretty resilient, but using air shooter on him kills him in like two to three hits. And he will just sort of walk around and throw bombs at you. Look at that. Look how quick he went down. I almost kind of feel like in Mega Man 2, the Robot Masters are overly weak to their weaknesses. And we have defeated the final Robot Master. Only one thing remains, and that's Dr. Wily himself. And we'll be doing that next time. This is Super Channel F, signing out.